uh, we're going to be discussing about uh, reset domain crossings. Um, many of you um, have requested uh, on uh, reset domain crossings. Uh, here is the uh, one uh, scenario for uh, reset domain crossings. As you can see here, that uh, you have a flop, let's say flop one, uh, which is uh, passing the signal uh, to flop two. Okay, very simple scenario here. Both of the flops are getting the same clock. However, uh, first flop is getting reset one, another flop is getting reset two. Now one can argue, okay, we can have one reset pin driving two resets, well, you will have the propagational delay. But let's for simplicity here, let's assume that uh, we are getting the reset for flop one from a different pin and reset for flop two from a different pin. All right, so this becomes a valid uh, reset domain crossings where uh, the data wire or your any wire control wire uh, is passing from one flop to another flop and both the flops are getting different resets. So very similar to the clock domain crossing problem which we discussed in uh, previous lectures. If you have not watched those lectures I would highly recommend you to uh, watch the clock domain crossing uh, uh, lecture that will help you to understand uh, uh, clock domain crossings, reset domain crossings. Uh, here the discussion is very limited to this particular scenario. So what we can do here? Okay, so let's say um, call it reset 1 uh, tx okay and reset to rx and this is a problem. Okay, So we will not be able to, so problem will come when the reset is getting deasserted. Okay, both the resets will come at different times. So there might be possibility that the flip-flop 2 is not uh, uh, capturing the correct value, might be capturing the wrong value, metastable value, wrong value, we don't know. So how do we resolve this scenario? Okay, uh, let's see what we can do. Okay. So what if we uh, delay the clock going to the flop two and use some kind of a clock getting cell? So what will happen that uh, when this flop, okay, uh, flop one is getting through the uh, reset phase, only one flop is active. This flop, there is no clock going to the flop two. So this will not be active and you will have the uh, good good data coming to the deep pin. And once we make sure there is an enable wire, that enable wire will make sure when the flop one comes out of the reset, then only the flop two gets the data and we will be able to get the correct data. Okay, so now we have you know done 50% job here. Important thing here, is that how do we get the enable signal? Okay. So enable signal, right, we can have some sort of a logic, um, right, and that generates an enable signal and that feeds to the reset generation uh, logic as well. Very simple scenario what we can do um, that uh, uh, first step we do the uh, gate the uh, clock to the destination flop or the rx flop and second step is generate the enable signal. So we can generate the enable signal uh, from in the TX domain and getting the same flop is getting the same reset one and some logic here and then pass it through, uh, connect it to the uh, clock getting cell pin. This scenario also has a problem. Think about it. Uh, what may happen that by the time uh, this enable signal is high, it might be possible that the uh, data D will be toggling, okay? So we need to make sure that there is enough delay, okay? 
uh, when when we propagate the signal from D to Q and Q to D for the second flaw. And not only that, um, we also have to uh, see through when the reset is getting the asserted uh, for the flop two. So this simple scenario has a problem that we have a danger that um, since the delays will be different, so this enable wire, which we are generating with some kind of a logic um, to enable the clock gating cell, uh, that will have its own delay compared to uh, what the D pin uh, of the flop one is feeding the Q and that that is connected to D. So there might be chances that uh, we might capture at the D input of the flop to a wrong value. But what we can do is that think about it same thing that what if we delay the flop three output and use some kind of a, a floppy stages. Here I'm showing it only two, but it's something like four, five, six, seven, up to n floppy stage that is dependent on the uh, technology and various other factors. And those flops get the uh, reset too. Okay, so these flops kind of acts like a synchronizer as well. You can think about it uh, synchronizing a stage. So that's good, we resolve both the issues. But think about that now we have uh, delayed the assertion as well as the assertion of the um, reset. Now it might happen that um, we have to, uh, you know, check how much is the delay margin, what not, uh, that by the time uh, we are into uh, deassertion phase of the reset. Okay, and since the assertion is also delayed, so we have to a little bit carefully do the delay calculations there. And that we may maybe you know get an accurate estimate, or may not be. That that totally depends on how our delays are and what what you know what are the propagational delay. Um, from uh, clock to queue delay uh, of the first flop and how many stages of the flop delays are here. Uh, so the various things. Essentially, you would want to uh, delay as the deassertion of the reset. Flop to flop one can get asynchronous reset asserted anytime asynchronously. But the deassertion needs to be synchronous to the clock in which clock domain they are operating. So that means that uh, we can have some sort of a multiplexer to delay only the deassertion. So some kind of a multiplexer we can have it here. And uh, so that, that will delay right the d assertion and assertion you know we don't have to worry about it it isn't constantly asserted so that looks like a uh, like a good solution for uh, reset domain crossing uh, issues i hope you have um, you have liked it uh, the discussion on the reset domain crossings if you have questions, comments, leave in the uh, section below. Um, also, um, uh, let me know um, um, what other possibilities, uh, what other solutions we can have here. This is one, one potential um, good solution and approach for uh, handling uh, the reset crossings. Now here, we have only discussed about uh, when the clock is same, but the scenario can be more complex where the flop one is getting clock one and flop two is getting clock two. And also they both flops are getting the different resets. 